Well, I'm still uh, driving around at night. Been finding quite a bit of stuff. It's been out about two and a half hours now. There's something. It's like a king snake or something. Let's see what it is. Turn the car off. What? Holy cow, it's a it's a huge coral snake. Oh, I'm gonna pick it up. Ow! Ow! It bit me! Ow! 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 Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh, it's rubber. <laughs> it's a toy. I put it there. Sorry, I would never pick up a coral snake with my hands like that. <laughs> oh, I've been out here too long and it was getting boring. So I had to make some fun. Let's see. So this is actually a toy of an Eastern coral snake, which is really big. Our coral snakes don't get this big like this. Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Teacher. This is so cool. I just found a Sonoran coral snake. This that. Oh. Wow. Look at it. It's so rare. It's so hard to find. Okay, I'm gonna try to capture him here. That's my glove. Whoa. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that is so awesome. Coral snake. Hey, this is Kel the Venom Teacher. Today we're gonna to be talking about coral snakes versus king snakes. I get this question a lot. People always want to know what the rhyme is. That rhyme that you can tell which one's dangerous and which one's not. Well, I don't actually know the rhyme. I, I don't ever teach the rhyme. Uh, I had to look it up here. So the rhyme is red touches yellow kills a fellow. Red touches black friend of Jack. So I don't ever use that rhyme because that rhyme was actually invented in southeastern United States where two snakes look very similar called the Scarlet King Snake and the Eastern Coral Snake. And if you look at those two snakes, they're, they're both about the same size. They, they have pretty similar color patterns. It's just the order of the color. So that rhyme works really good. But uh, people started coming across the United States. Uh, we come into Arizona and we have coral snakes here too. And we have king snakes. But the problem is, is uh, they're totally different species with different colors and so the rhyme actually doesn't work uh, for us here in Arizona. So we have a Sonoran coral snake, uh, but the problem is is that they don't have yellow markings in them. And then we also have the mountain king snake. And so I have two of them, uh, I have one of each of these today. So the coral snake is in here, the coral snake is venomous, and then the, the mountain king snake is in here. All right, so in here is a full grown adult coral snake. And whenever I show people these, they, they don't believe me that this is an adult. <laughs> this is how big they get. Okay, so these are venomous. These are in the same family as cobras. So they're, they're a lapids. And uh, so look at the, see, there's no yellow. This is one of the main reasons why I don't teach the rhyme in Arizona, because I think people might uh, see this and go, oh, well, this doesn't have any yellow at all. Let's pick it up. Okay, so I, I would never pick up or free handle one of these without proper, without having a glove like this or something. But, but check that out. It's about the size of a thickness of a pencil. So, so these are not that big. All right. Uh, one of the easiest ways to tell a coral snake in Arizona is that they have a solid black head. So they're, they're, they're not that big. They're about as thick as a pencil, evenly throughout the whole body. And see how they have a solid black head. All right, so let's put this, this guy back in here. Okay, now let's check out the, the mountain king snake. These are not venomous. Uh, they could bite. 
This one could bite you too. Let me just see. <laughs> okay, now here is a mountain king snake. So look, and this is a full grown adult. See the difference in size? So these, oh, these musky ones. So these are uh, the ones that people often get confused. So they do have similar color. If you notice that they've got white on their nose, not solid black. There we go. So I like to tell people, when you see something like this, if you're not sure what it is, just don't pick it up. It, it's, a, it's the easiest thing. You know, take a picture of it and then go look at the color pattern and try to figure it out. But if you look at the size comparison of these two, it's quite shocking. <laughs> this is the much more tamer Eastern Coral Snake. You can actually pet these. They're really nice. I'm just kidding, it's rubber. <laughs> So uh, I bought this because this is a very realistic representation of an eastern coral snake. So they are bigger like this, uh, but you can see that they have the yellow. Okay, they have the yellow bands and that, that, that rhyme does make total sense uh, for using it for these kind of species in southeastern uh, America. But uh, it, it does seem silly to try to bring it to another uh, total different environment and a totally different species and trying to apply it. But I, I get it all the time when people want to know the rhyme. And so this is another big reason why I don't like the rhyme is because the conversation usually comes up like this. Uh, what's that rhyme again? How does that go about that one dangerous coral snake thing? And nobody ever knows the rhyme. Uh, they always get it mixed up. Uh, so it's, it's quite confusing in that sense. So I just tell people, don't bother. You know, just, this is what coral snakes look like. You know, they, they have that pattern. They have a black head, they're thin like a pencil. Uh, they're very, very rare in Arizona. They're very hard to find. Uh, I only found one every few years. I, I've done a lot of educational programs at nature centers, and I've had hundreds and hundreds of people over the years, and uh, I get this question asked a lot about the coral snake. And so what I started to do is ask the group, and I said, is there anybody here that can raise their hand and tell me what the rhyme is? And time and time again, nobody can. They, they kind of stumble over it. They're like, it's something about killing Jack or something. But uh, it's my experience that people just don't know it. And so instead of uh, basing it off of a rhyme and thinking, oh, this rhyme is going to help me stay safe, it's better just to take a picture of the animal, uh, go back uh, home, look on the internet, and just find out what it is out there. You shouldn't be picking up stuff that you don't know what it is in a while. All right, funny story. In one of the uh, outreach programs I was doing at one of the uh, nature centers on the outskirts of the desert, I had about 100 people there, and right before I started my presentation, I had a coral snake in a little glass aquarium, uh, and a lot of people were coming up and looking at the rattlesnakes I had in the coral snake, and I would purposely not put the bean on the container, on the cage of what it was, so it was a Sonoran coral snake, just like the one I showed you. And in one show, I saw two guys before the show started, and they were talking, and they were arguing back and forth as to whether this was a king snake or a coral snake, and they were trying to remember the rhyme. So I was standing uh, by them, listening to it all, kind of seeing how this was going to play out, and they both uh, eventually determined that this was, in fact, uh, a harmless uh, king snake. And so uh, at that point, I was standing next to him and I said, actually, it, it is a coral snake. And they both look at me, they kind of look at my shirt and they're like, what? And I, I explained it to them. So uh, people often get confused. Even when you're trying to use the vine, uh, they do look similar. So just another example of it's better just not to pick up snakes when you don't know what they are. All right. I wanted to be able to give you guys a size comparison. Check that out. So these are both adults. So just that is a really easy way to identify these two. So there you have it, uh, coral snake versus king snake. Uh, some facts, <laughs> hopefully it will help you. But I can't stress enough that you, you really should never be picking up snakes because what, what we're dealing with here are mimics. And uh, even though these are different than the mimics that the, of the scarlet king snake and the eastern coral snake, uh, they are mimics and they're hard to tell them apart. Uh, rattlesnakes have mimics. These are snakes that look a lot like them, but are not dangerous. Wait, where'd the coral snake go? Dang it, where is it? Before I let the snoring coral snake go, I'm going to make sure he's got water here. So I'm giving him a drink, and then I'm also going to feed him. I recently caught this little uh, ground snake, which is one of their favorite foods. Wow, he's really hungry. Oh, you did him, you did him. 
He's got him. Oh, he's pulling him down in the ground. He spit the ground snake out, so I decided to put them both in this container so we can watch him eat. This is going to take a while, so let's watch it in time lapse. So I'm out in the desert now getting ready to release a Sonoran coral snake that I caught. So I just caught him to do a little filming. I uh, gave him some water, I gave him some food, and uh, now we're just going to let him go right back where I found him. Look at that, it's coming back to me. Oh, he likes me. Oh. 